Welcome to episode 28. But you cannot have a barbecue pizza with no fucking meat. That is just un-American. A meatless Barbecued apartment. pizza with no meat? Thank you. I'm not saying what it is. Yeah. What abominations are you cooking in your house? That's Clearly nothing saying. that you will ever try because you can why do, Why do you supplement chicken with is. non-chicken? How do you not know what it is if, if you're making... What do you mean? Hold on. Let's revisit. <laughs> this chicken has some kind of eggplant skin. <laughs> Pulling out seeds and shit. No, but, no, but it, it why why are you supplement like I understand supplementing beef because beef is like fucking disgusting like for your body but why are you supplementing chicken it's healthier I mean obviously vegetables are healthier than chicken but chicken is chicken not all chicken is created equal my friend but to uh, science fiction some vegetable matter pro or whatever it is and mush it with grow in a petri dish yeah <laughs> throw it on your pizza <laughs> and pretend like it's chicken no go grab those two slices of pizza and I you tell you me to, that that's right. not i need to know what this sauce. tastes like <laughs> vicariously through your taste buds <laughs> no nope. you're not even no. taking a nibble of my stuff you need to nibble my stuff Dude. you need a nibble of <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> just the tip, right? Come on, just yeah, the tip. Come on, come on, baby. Just a little nibble. Come just on. a little, just in your mouth. Come on. Just a little nibble. I don't know where this this idea that I'm a vegetarian comes from. I just, I just. Because you substitute chicken on your fucking pizza for beets. <laughs> beets. The beet boy. I don't like beets. <laughs> I don't, Bears, I don't make beets, beet pizza. Battle Although I do have a recipe for beet bacon that I want to try. I want to try it. <laughs> if so. you do that, some curd fucking beet meat. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. This episode, this episode already actually has a legit name. This is nostalgia goggles. So, Netflix, uh, a, a beautiful creation of modern future technology i mean what would life be, be without netflix oh, boring. seriously and instead of spending three hours looking for something to watch on on all the five thousand cable channels you spend three hours looking for the something <laughs> to watch on netflix <laughs> but it's just you know what I it's hate? still just better uh so this past weekend or two weekends ago now once this airs uh netflix released all five seasons of the real Ghostbusters. I'm gonna repeat that. All five seasons. But uh, so Ghostbusters, it, it definitely holds a special place in, in, in uh, my heart and in Aaron's heart. It's such a huge part of our childhood. I, I mean, I had the firehouse. I had all the fucking toys, as I'm sure you did as well. Mm -hmm. and, um, but the biggest question is, does it hold up? Well. I don't know yet. That was a, that was a, <laughs> well, that was a, a, a good cinching of the belt right there. And that, that is the primary conversation point of this episode. Every episode has this just terrible 80s pop music montage for like just like two minutes. Some sort of chase scene or montage. It's like some, and, and I don't even know if it's actual music or if they actually had, they commissioned people to do these 80s music bits. Because it, it, like All lyrics that I obviously machine. don't recognize, but yeah, it's a synthesizer and so when like just mumbling into a microphone like, I rode a bike today. And she's <laughs> like, what are you fucking singing? You? I, st I started watching He-Man a couple months ago. And that oh, first know. episode of He-Man was even a bigger pile of shit than the first episode of Ghostbusters. Like you, I want to I wanna show my daughter all the great fucking cartoons that we used to watch. So we started watching He-Man. And she sat there and she laughed and everything. She, like She, she liked it. it. She, that's the same thing. Jim, but my, my daughter watched He-Man, She-Ra, Jem... I'm a gem. I don't know if I'll show her gem. I wasn't a fan of it. They had the stupid music video every week. God, it was fucking ridiculous. It was such a... You look at Wolverine all of a sudden, you adjusted those and watch, look down. See, see his eyes. What the fuck are those? What the fuck are those? Shink. I was going to say, fuck you, little Hogan. Did you just give the shocker? Shink. I'm trying to think how I showed Wolverine Claws. It's the shocker, right? The, the first episode of Batman the Animated Series makes 
I mean, it looks like a fucking Picasso painting compared to the first episode of Ghostbusters or He-Man. I just think that we remember... <laughs> well, Spider-Man, the original uh, the cartoon we used to watch on Fox. Oh, yeah, the one with the, like, the intro is like... <laughs> a lot spider of... water, spider water. <laughs> Would you say that, like, 12 is, like... When you take off the nostalgia goggles, or, the, or or you just outgrow them, we loved Ghostbusters because I guess for uh, for us, for the '80s, for the time, for our age, those were really good adult, scary, complex stories for that time. I definitely now. I mean, I'm I never grew up. I still watch a ton of cartoons. Cartoons have much more of a plot and way better writing than they did. 25, 30 years ago. Oh, look at old enough to grasp high concepts, but young enough to still enjoy cartoons. Yeah. That kind of fuzzed out. Like, that faded. Like, when did you guys stop playing with actual toys? Like, 13, 12, somewhere in there? Last week. <laughs> I don't know. He's just, he's just yeah. playing with I got a new Omni Blade in the mail. <laughs> Using your imagination, sitting down with two toys, like a G.I. Joe and a Barbie and making them do fucking combat and shit. Not what exactly what I did. I, I, I was G. just going to say, I'm like, is that what you call it when you took G.I. Joe and Barbie? I was wondering where that was going. G.I. Joe Here comes another Roy story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have the money now to like buy whatever toys I want. But I'm just cheap now and I don't do it. Like I, I really look back on regret and uh, of all the toys that I got rid of over the years because if I had kept them, I, 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 I could fill totes to the ceiling. <clears throat> Well, you know, you had that rich stepdad, so go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't rich. It was middle class. It was 90s. It was 90s middle class. Which was a uh, high class indeed. It was at the time. <laughs> I put them on my shelf. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It's like we don't play with them anymore. We just put them on the shelf. Cats. No, Wait, did, did you just legit ask what the fuck is a summo plan? <laughs> yeah, because I never... You're not, you're not, like, <laughs> actually quoting the meme. No, I've never seen... Th I don't watch Thundercats, I've never seen... Yeah, and people animated it, and it was like, Get your foot off that blasted summo flange! And then there's, like, a pause, goes, What the fuck is a summo flange? <laughs> and, like, it's a legit outtake from the show. <laughs> and and the, the best one is... Cuba always says, I want to see, see your tits, my yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm legit shocked. To the point that we have been talking of almost an hour about how shocked we are that our favorite <laughs> cartoons were shit. No matter how bad it is, I'll admit it. I love it. I love the real Ghostbusters, and no, I'm, I'm amused at how shitty it is. And also, it brings it brings a it brings a warm feeling to my cockles. Same thing with He-Man. Uh, same thing with Thundercats. Uh, go, go go on Netflix and watch watch the real Ghostbusters. You're gonna. You're just gonna sit there and it just you're gonna have so much fun. You're gonna have so much fun. If you have kids, your kids are gonna have fun. But you're gonna have a whole different level of fun than your kids. There you go. End it on that. Where can they find us, Roy? www.modernretrocast.com. That is our website. There we go. That is our galactic hub. You can find <laughs> everything you need, everything you want to know about us. What do you got on the YouTube? Uh, we got. We're gonna be having some interviews of all of us on the YouTube. We got some new video clips and, and all sorts of stuff going on there. So check us out. If you thought you were listening to a podcast oh today, <laughs> you really aren't. It's fucking cured beat meat meant to sound like a podcast. So have a good night, everybody. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> <laughs>